everyone so I thought I would hop on today for a little day in my life vlog 2022 I'm going to be doing some Christmas shopping um yeah I figured if you guys want to come along with me we're heading out right now we're gonna go to pick up some toys for the kids and the little ones um we're gonna go to Macy's so hopefully they have some good stuff guys but um yeah I'm gonna take you guys along it's just my little OOTD it's a little <laughs> It's cold out, but I just can't resist. This is my favorite top. I'm going to put a coat. I'm going to put a blazer on. So you're not going to see. Look at all these wires. Okay, so you're not going to see all this situation right here. But um, I've been loving this bag, you guys. I got this bag so long ago. I never used it. Um, and all of a sudden, I can't stop using it. So it's, you know why? Because I realized, you know, how to um, change up the straps. So you wrap it and wrap it and then it becomes, you know, different looks because this chain is actually super long. But I, you know, wrapped it up and now it's kind of reminds me of, I love this bag. What is it? Uh, handbag. I love handbags. So <laughs> this is the Chanel reissue and it's so big. It holds a ton. I'm so used to having bags that don't hold anything, but it's, you know, it's mid-size and yet it holds you can't even believe and then these pockets it has in the back come in so handy when you're shopping i put my phone in there even the whatever credit card that you know i'm just going to use real quick i put it in there so and then let's see here i just got this uh here it is chanel belt holographic this is actually vintage i do believe <laughs> i'm so scared to buy vintage but i do believe it's real so that's why i'm really happy about that because, uh, you know, it has all these kind of stamps and things like that. And uh, the leather is, you know, just, I don't know. I just feel like, I like me, guys, but if I buy vintage, I'm always scared it's not real. And then, you guys, I got these boots here. These are sock booties on Amazon. And they're so comfortable. They were like $20. They're literally the most comfortable boots I've ever had. I'll link them below, but they do run large. So I think I got a nine and I definitely could have got an eight and a half. And I could have probably got an eight, but um, I don't know why I got a nine. I was probably scared. I think they only had whole sizes. So I was scared to get an eight. I could have got an eight, but I actually might get another pair or definitely if these get messed up, I'll get another pair because they're so flipping comfortable. It's crazy. So anyway, let me grab my coat and we're going to head out now. So first things first, we headed to the mall. Actually, Macy's is at the mall and it was super festive. And we went to Ulta first because my mother-in-law wanted a Gucci perfume for Christmas. They had this really beautiful sampler set. I did wind up getting her though, the full bottle of the Gucci Flora. And then they had the Ariana Grande perfume. Guys, it smells so good. I actually, I didn't get it, but I think I'm gonna go back and get the white one. It's more vanilla scented than the pink one. Uh, it smells so good. Then they had all these great gift sets. I've never seen so many great holiday gift sets as they have at Ulta right now. So a lot of it is sold out. So if you have your eye last minute shopping, your best bet might your best bet might be to shop online. But if you can, they have so many great sets. So I've been home for a little bit now, guys. I've been doing Christmas cards. I made out all my Christmas cards. Thank God. <laughs> and look who wanted to come out and say hi. Yes. Watch her, watch her like a, a bite my face while I'd say that. You never know. She's very temperamental. So sometimes, you know, she likes to be bad and sometimes she'll, she'll bite you. <laughs> you look, you say hi, you say hi. See, she just got me, <laughs> she just got me. Yeah, I don't, it, I, can you hear her talking? She's a little chit, so I'm here to chit chat with the babes. You wanna do a little chit chat? She's chit chatting, guys. <laughs> so guys, um, yeah, I, I did so much today. I feel like I don't do anything, but yet, if I think about it, I did get a lot accomplished because, like, I I purchased um, so many presents for the kids. Uh, so we got them so many presents. It was crazy because, guys, we went to Macy's and the sale at Macy's was unbelievable. Everything was, like, 50% off. And then when I checked out, they gave me another 
kind of like little gift card or something it was for forty dollars for me to come back <laughs> i was like thank you um so that was amazing but then uh yeah so we went christmas shopping so then we got home so me and my husband went out to eat by ourselves finally we haven't been out to eat just me and him since we got roxy because we can never leave her alone you know because she's she'll destroy everything <laughs> so sometimes we'll leave her home and we come home in her bed she'll eat the, all the bedding you know destroy everything so uh because you know we do crate train her we she has a huge crate but still she she's actually yeah she did she she actually has moved her crate you know while we're out over to our bed pulled our comforter into her bed tore that up like she she'll destroy stuff even though she's in the crate so you know we, it's just easier if we just always have her with us and then when we have her with us we can't go to restaurants and stuff like that because she's guys I, I told you the other day she's uh she's almost 80 pounds <laughs> Let me tell you what happened, guys. I went to the post office, and I mailed out. Sherry was one of our last winners now. So, Sherry, congratulations. I'm so happy you won. So, I went and mailed out her package. And uh, so, I did that. I mailed out the giveaway. I'm going to be picking another giveaway winner soon, and I'm going to put together another giveaway because I have so much stuff. So, um, I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. But what I wanted to tell you guys was um yeah hopefully <laughs> can you hear her um yeah what i wanted to tell you guys well i don't even know what i was saying so yeah i did do that that was productive right i did the christmas cards i did the christmas shopping we got his son an espresso machine he wanted an espresso so we got him that um <clears throat> my sub daughter wanted these sneakers guys now i gotta tell you my she loves to run exercise and things like that and um the sneakers that she wanted they're called cloud sneakers something like that so uh, they must be really good because she's a big time runner so um and they were sold out everywhere but we did find them and we got a repair of those so okay we so we did so much shopping you guys so okay then look at this we got this card here for my husband's father my father-in-law so he sent us this beautiful card today from, he lives in Vegas. Um, so nice. And what does it say? May you have a joyful Christmas and happy new year. So guys, my husband's father, he was, I guess he was born in the Bronx. Then he lived in Florida and now he lives in Vegas. So hopefully you guys can hear me because to be completely honest, it's like two o'clock. It's almost 2.30 in the morning. You guys, I also just washed all of my brushes. I'm talking, I'm going to show you. I'm going to post a post picture or whatever. Well, guys, I have like freaking, I might have washed over 200 brushes. Okay, can, let's give me a pat. Let's give this girl a pat on the back. Because I don't know how I did it, but it grosses me out to have dirty brushes that sometimes that's why to be completely honest sometimes it's a little hard for me i do i have been diagnosed with ocd so um uh, sometimes i'll be completely honest it's kind it is hard but i you know i soldier through it but it's hard when you have ocd to do makeup because you you think everything's dirty it's and so i constantly want to like what it's it stresses you out is what i'm saying to, so you know i guess the makeup will come out better because i i don't constantly wash my brushes though i just have so many brushes that um you know like when some are dirty i'll go use the other ones which is really not good i really would love but i love all my brushes i would love to get rid of some of them and then just use the core ones that i have now like you guys i'm not even joking those bk brushes god bless lisa j because those brushes are amazing i would really love to just use her brushes <laughs> but then i have the other ones so i have beautiful brushes trish had got me so you know i don't want to get rid of the brushes just but you know it'd be it is it, it is better i think if you have less like you know people say the less you have it's easier to take care of it and things like that 
So anyway, guys, I'll show you. I'll, you're not going to believe how much, but look at this cute headband I got on Etsy. Now I'm an Etsy addict. I got this cute headband today. I ordered it. It just came today. And then I got this cute one too, which, you know what? I'm really glad that I got this one because, you know, a lot of people were like saying, oh, get the, the one at the store. You know, it's so expensive. <laughs> But I don't really like this one. I can see this one has that giant, I don't know how to say it. It's called Bus Busali. I don't know. It's French though. So it's raised up. I guess it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. Okay. <laughs> but you know, I bought it on Etsy. They're handmade from Etsy. So that's amazing. And um, I like this. She's going to get away. I like this one though better, I think. I don't know. Which one do you guys think? But these were like $14 each. Like I said, handmade, and they feel handmade, amazing quality, beautiful, Who the girl, whoever made them did an amazing job. So, uh, I like, I'm enjoying them. <laughs> well, I just got them, but I know I will, because I've been loving headbands lately. So, um, then I got here this package for Milk Makeup. So, you know what, guys, I was going to tell you about what happened with Louie, Okay. <laughs> Let me just tell you real quick, but so I have a neighbor came over, you know, acting so nice, thought she was the nicest person. She was come. I was so happy. She came over to my house. We were making friends. And then I don't know if somebody was seeing the other day. I was saying how someone told me that they, they actually were like, she, she actually said to me, so let me back. It. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. What happened was this woman came over with making friends. We were friends for some time. She was like gradually making friends. And then what happened was the other day, she goes, um, you know, I'd really love to have, to, to have Louie. And I was like, excuse me? I was like, what are you talking about have Louie? She was like, yeah, I would love to take him home with me. I think I should take him home with me. I was like, take Louie home with you? I was, I said, what are you, crazy? Like, what? She was like, can I, can we take, can I have him? Can me and my husband take him? I said, like, are you out of your mind? Who asks if they can take your dog? If they can have your dog. She actually said that to me, you guys. I was so horrified. My husband, even my husband never really, he doesn't like drama. So my husband never really will even, you know. He, my husband said, what? He goes, no, get out of here. He was like, what are you, crazy? <laughs> he was so mad. And she was like, well, she wouldn't give it up either. She was like, oh, I just think that he'd be happier at our house. He doesn't seem happy happy here at our house. He doesn't seem happy. Are you? Are these people out of their minds? How is he not happy? Have you guys, you guys have seen him. He has lower, doing God knows what to him day and night. She licks him for hours. <laughs> and he loves it. I'm, I I work from home. I never leave him. I've never left him in his entire life. He's never been left alone once in his entire life. I cook I cook organic homemade food for them. We spent ten thousand dollars on surgery so he could walk again. Uh, what would make someone think that he's now Roxy is his girlfriend too? What would she was licking him and kissing him all over? What would make someone think that he doesn't, that he's not happy here, that he doesn't belong with us, that he belongs with them? Because she said that. Because then she was going on and on. Oh, but he's not good here. I don't think it's right for him to be here. She said there's too much going on in our house for him, and he needs to go with her, where he's going to be more relaxed, and he's going to be, she said, just what she was saying, there's too much, there's too many things going on here what there's not too much i never leave the house you guys um how's there too much going on he's with me all the time how like where in the world why would someone think that he was not happy i get him fresh everything fresh organic chicken i mean i air fry him chicken like are you kidding me guys tell me that is not it's crazy she was she was a hundred percent serious and then they said it again too, because we saw we bumped into them again. And they were like, "Oh, can we can we take Louis? Can we have Louis?" I was like, "What? People are sick." And they believe me; these these people seem so normal. They're very. I don't want to get into it, but because you know, I said a lot of people watch my channel. I said, but the time has come that I should really not give give an f 
and I'm just gonna because <laughs> I gotta do what makes me happy and what makes me happy is sharing and ch ch and telling sharing with you guys my friends you know what I mean if they don't like it that's their problem that's what this might be my new motto I'm gonna start telling everything and people say oh were you talking about me maybe I was girl maybe I was I don't care <laughs> Yeah, I can't be caring anymore about this stuff. Look at her, look at her. She's gonna make a little nest in my weave hair. Okay, guys. I'm sure I had other things to tell you, but I can't remember right now. I was gonna show you this, because I didn't open this yet. But Milk Makeup had sent me a gift card. Thank you so much, Milk Makeup. So I was able to go to the site and purchase what I would like. So I purchased a bunch with a gift card. Right. Here's everything I got. Look at this. Okay, I did buy a little bit more than what they gave me. But still, it was a very generous gift card. But I think this is a mystery box. So I'm going to come back and open this with you guys. Because I know I ordered a mystery box. And then look at this. Hydro Makeup Removing Balm. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Yeah, I've been so busy, guys. I don't remember, you know, everything that I purchased. Here's the Milk Makeup Mascara. Which one is this? Rise Mascara. Here is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. Oh, I've never, this is Vitamin C Oil. I can't wait to use that because I love their Sunshine Eye Brightener. I love that. Here is the Hydro Grip Under Eye Primer Base. Hydrate and Blow Grips Pigment. This is for your lid, to, for your lid as an eyeshadow primer. Now, this is something I'm so excited to try, guys. This is the Milk Makeup Hydrating Oil, but it's in a stick. How amazing is that? I want to try I wish I'd try this right now. Oh, look at this, guys. Hydro Makeup Remover. Another one. I don't remember. I guess I did, guys, because I... Oh, is this the mystery box, though? I don't know. I don't want to... I want to open the mystery box with you guys, like, you know, separate. Then here, oh, I got another lip and cheek. I got a lighter color because the other one I have, you know, I just got a different color because I love the lip and cheek. And then here is the Future Fluid. This is their concealer. So I never tried the concealer, so I'm really excited about, to try that. I really want to try this. This is the, can you believe that, guys? An oil in a stick form. So what you can do with this, of course, you, it's so great when you're traveling because it's not going to get all over. Oil, you know, will splish and splish splash all over the place but since this is in a you know in a stick form you can you know use it on the go but then i think i what i was thinking about this for was to give that beautiful highlight to your face but now looking at it i'm like wow this would be amazing like i said when you're traveling you could just take it out and put it on your face where you might need you know where you're getting dry under your eyes lips you know wherever your whole face you know i'm gonna try that tonight actually i'm gonna put this all over my face tonight for the nighttime skincare i can't open it guys i can't get it, I can't get it. okay here let's see i'm trying i don't want to hurt myself yeah so that's what happened with lily people are sick you know okay here i got it guys okay here it's a stick. Isn't that beautiful? I was, this is how I, like I said, this is how I, no scent. I was, oh, it feels, is, is there a thing on here? I'm like, it feels so good because there's a thing on. Is there, is there something or not? There must, oh yeah, there's a little cat right here. Yes. Oh, that feels so good. Especially, guys, I got a skin treatment the other day. So my skin is dry. That feels so good. Let's put some here. Oh, it feels good. On your lips. Mm -hmm. Oh my, and my whole face is really dry right now, so this feels good. Mm. I thought that would be, oh, she just bit me so hard. I thought that would make a nice sheen. But you guys, so I, I was just putting on powder. Oh, that looks beautiful in real life. Wow. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't wear, I, it broke up the makeup, but well, because, you know, it's oil. So you should wear, you know, 
I, I had just put on, I didn't realize I was going to put that on, so I put on all that powder. Yeah, I'll come back and use it the proper way. So anyway, guys, I'm going to put this stuff away. I'll be back with Bowen. I'm not sure which one is the mystery box. So actually, maybe these are both go together. I don't know. Oh, this is a foundation stick. So this is the mystery box. This is foundation stick. Oh, I never tried their foundation stick before, so I'm really excited to try this because I I love stick foundation. So let's see here. Oh, the stick foundation is just so easy to use, you know, on the go. Look at that. So you can just go all over, you know. Okay, and the packaging is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to try that. I can't wait to use this tonight because I really need this right now. These are, this is a balm and this is more like a traditional cleanser. Yeah, this is more water. It sounds like water based. I'm going to use, I will look, okay, I'm going to use them both. Okay, <laughs> let, me, let me get organized here. Okay, so guys, I'll be back. We'll do mystery box. This has to be, this is the mystery box here. Mystery box unboxing and um I gotta show you guys how I use this and I'll be back guys so I gotta run and uh, so I'm just gonna go get ready for bed now but I will see you guys very soon let me know how your holidays are going down below and I'll talk to you guys later love you bye